Now to an important story for livestock producers. We've heard Glenn Selk talk a lot over the years about the dangers of cattle eating forage with high levels of nitrates, especially this time of year. SunUp's Curtis Hare takes us to Custer County to learn more. Sudan hay is one of the main forages in Custer County. Extension educator Ron Wright says though this type of sorghum is a good feed, toxicity issues are always a concern. When you raise Sudan hay, you can run into nitrate problems with it, uh, which can affect cattle in several different ways. Uh, we've been in a, in a pretty severe drought in this county for the, for the most of the summer, and so we've, we've had a lot of Sudan hay that, that showed up being high in nitrates. Uh, I know of one producer that, that fed a, a ba round bale of Sudan hay and lost five cows. I heard of another one that lost two. Weight loss, aborted calves, and death in livestock are just some issues high nitrate levels in feed can cause. Uh, when that high concentration comes, let's say if the plant stay in a drought condition for too long and after comes a rain, after the rain that wake up those plants from the drought time is when we are going to have a high concentration of nitrate. The plant itself isn't necessarily the problem, but another type of grass that many producers are familiar with. When you plant Sudan, Sudan fields, you tend to get quite a bit of Johnson grass that can come up in those fields. And when they bale that, they'll bale that all up together in the bale. It's always that question, is Johnson grass a weed or a forage? Well, keep in mind that Johnson grass was introduced here as a forage. And actually, it's a good forage. This is considered noxious weed. So that's why sometimes you wanted to control it. You can have nitrate and also prussic acid toxicities. Cattle can, can pretty much tolerate up to 5,000 parts per million. Um, but once it gets to a certain point, if it gets up over 10,000 parts per million, you can't mix that with enough other stuff to make it okay to feed it. Producers should not just be concerned with the presence of Johnson grass in the field, but also outside of it. We had a producer in this county who had some cattle that got out. Uh, there were 32 head of them. 31 head of them it didn't affect. Had one, ca one cow that we found that had gone down. You run into all kinds of problems that can be avoided if you bring that into your extension office and have them do a quick test on it using diphenylamine uh, on samples. While your local extension educators can tell if nitrate's present, the only way to know exactly how much nitrate's in your forage is to send a sample here at the university. For more information about nitrates and forage, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.